My research aims to understand behavioural strategies in mammals so we can improve management and welfare as well as conservation in natural habitats. Much of the work that we do focuses on wild rodents, although we also use laboratory mice and rats as models, uh, providing greater genetic control. We've set up some super facilities here at the University of Liverpool Leehurst campus to study rodent behaviour, which goes right the way from very controlled bioassays in small arenas, all the way to big outdoor enclosures where we can study much more naturalistic behaviour. But to see natural behaviour in these animals, it's really important to ensure that they're not stressed or anxious. Not, not only is that bad for their welfare, but it's a huge interference in the behaviour we're trying to measure. I have noticed that laboratory mice seem to be particularly anxious and susceptible to handling stress. Uh, while watching them, uh, I thought that this might be due to the standard way that everyone handled these animals, which is to pick them up by the base of the tail and then uh, rest their body weight on a surface like the handler's arm. Um, but even then, uh, these mice uh, really try and pull away from the handler and often try to bite. So you can also pick up laboratory mice by simply scooping them up on the open hand once they're familiar with handling. Our research has shown that either tunnel or cup handling considerably reduces the stress and anxiety of the mice. Um, we've used a number of different measures and they all say the same thing, which is that tail handling is aversive to mice and induces much more stress and anxiety than tunnel or cup handling. Other labs have now repeated many of the tests we've done and are seeing the same thing which shows how general this response appears to be. So this doesn't just impact on the animal's welfare, it also has a big impact on the reliability of mice in behavioural testing. When we take animals out of the home cage, those picked up by the tail are much more cautious and don't explore normally, so they're not interacting properly with the test environment. Animals picked up by tunnel are much bolder and explore normally, so we're measuring their natural behaviour rather than their response to being handled. This small change in picking up the mice uh, leads to a much more reliable and relevant test responses. We've been conducting further research into the practicalities of implementing these non-aversive methods in place of traditional tail handling. And we've been working with NC3Rs on promoting their implementation across animal facilities. The great news is that you can see the benefits of tunnel handling, even if you only handle the animals really briefly. And you can still restrain the animals, either by the tail or by scruff, once you've picked the animals up. Our, what our data shows is that the thing that people need to avoid is capturing and picking up mice by the tail. The animal facilities here in Liverpool have really led the way in showing the practicalities of using these methods in place of tail handling. And it's great to see that other facilities are now rolling this out and seeing the benefits for themselves and for their animals. To help people with trying to implement this, we've put together a tutorial, some FAQs and other resources on the NC3R's website. More mice are used in research around the world than any other vertebrate. So this small change could improve the welfare of many millions of animals, as well as improving the quality of the research data. So far, we've looked at this in the context of behavioural testing, but many areas of research are confounded by background stress that needs to be avoided. So I do think that this handling refinement could have much wider scientific benefits across a wide range of research.